Hi. Today I'm I'm first of all I'm trying my iPad again, but this time in a different way. And second of all, um, I think that all of you guys really like my videos about uh, common expressions and sentences in Portuguese. So I decided to do one more for you now. And this time it's about compliments. I already wrote a blog post about it. Um, you can check the link uh, below. Uh, but I think it's always nice to hear it and know how to kind of express it and say it. So I'm just gonna try to, to, to tell you all about it. So the first one I, you can see here uh, is a work compliment. So um, if you are like uh, at your job and you see someone doing a really, really good job at something, then you probably should tell them something, especially if you just like moved to Portugal and you are kind of trying to, you know, be friends with your coworkers or at least have a positive environment. So just, just try one of these two compliments. The first one you can see here is excelente trabalho. Excelente trabalho. Or faster, excelente trabalho. Don't forget that we have, um, just gonna change here the color. You have here this E, X. This is gonna be read like sh in Portuguese when it's not accentuated, which normally isn't. So we say excelente trabalho. So this would sound more like this. Even this one here would be very small. So, excelente trabalho. This means literally like excellent job, excellent work, you know, well done. Um, you can also use uh, this second one here. I'm gonna put it in blue. I'm just exploring here with the colors. So, uh, you, can, you can use this one, bom trabalho. Uh, however, this one, um, can be used either to give a compliment after some good job has been done or it can also uh, be something to wish someone to you know to have a to go ahead and and work hard and be good and have success with their job so um or with the work they are doing so you read this again i will read it again as bom trabalho bom Trabalho. Um, bom trabalho means good job. Good job. Okay. And this was my mom calling this titri that you heard, so I'm sorry. But yeah, so going back to this, uh, bom trabalho means good work, literally. And you can either use it to um, to, to wish somebody to have a good day of work, or you can also say it afterwards uh, when you've seen that they really did a good job. So, two compliments for your work colleagues. Excellent trabalho, or more like we would say, excellent trabalho, and bom trabalho, or faster, bom trabalho. Okay, that's, that's it. Those were work compliments. So now let's go on to the second one. Beauty compliment. Oh my goodness, isn't it good? Okay, sorry. So um, this you can use, you know, with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend, with your friends, with your family, whoever. And I have written here, well, two of them. So the first one is this one here. And it means how pretty you are today. I, I added this part here. Que bonito que estás hoje. Que bonito que estás hoje. Okay, this is very fast, right? Que bonito que estás hoje. If you see here, it seems like I'm saying like estás hoje. Something like estás hoje. It's very weird. So. That's because we have an S at the end of a word and an H beginning the next word and the H is silent. So actually we have a vowel sound. You can also find more information about it in my website. 
about the pronunciation and why this happens. But so let's concentrate here on this part. Que bonito. Que bonito. That's like how pretty, how beautiful, right? This is if you're speaking to a man or a boy. And this one here, que bonita, it's the same, but for a female, okay? For a woman, for your wife, for your girlfriend. Okay, que bonita. So this part here, que estás hoje, I didn't add here, but I could add. That just means that you are today. How beautiful are you today? You know, uh, you can say it or not. And also, que elegante, that's more like how elegant. If you want uh, to tell the person that they look really nice on that outfit, for example, that they look really elegant. So you can say, que elegante, que elegante, or faster, que elegante. If you see, we tend to put these two together and say something like, que elegante, <laughs> that makes any sense. So an E plus an E, we tend to transform it in a Portuguese I, so an E, we say E. So in English, it would be like two E's. Que elegante, okay, que elegante, how elegant, okay. So then I moved on to the parents' compliments or compliments that you can give to parents. I don't know about you, but lots of my friends are having babies at the moment. Ooh, pressure, um, not really. So um, this means that I need to say some of these things a lot. And the first parent's compliment that I have here is this one. Que bonito, sorry. Que menino bem comportado. Que menino bem comportado. Que menino bem comportado. This means what a well-behaved boy. So boy is here, we kind of exchange the order of things. In English, we put first the ad adjective and then the noun normally. Uh, but, but in Portuguese, we kind of do it the other way around most of the times. So we say, what boy well behaved, if we're gonna say it literally. Uh, but this means, what a well behaved boy. So fast, que menino bem comportado. Or if it's a girl, you can say, que menina bem comportada. Don't forget to change the adjective into feminine as well. So, que menina bem comportada. That's when they have a girl, okay? Um, of course, you can also say other things like this one here. Que olhos tão bonitos. Que olhos tão bonitos. That could be, I put here beauty compliment because it could be a beauty compliment, but it's also a parent's compliment. This means something like, what beautiful eyes. Again, we have eyes first because in Portuguese, the noun comes first and then so, and then the adjective bonitos, beautiful. So what eyes so beautiful or in English, what beautiful eyes. Um, so, que olhos tão bonitos, or fast, que olhos tão bonitos. Again, the mix between this and this, we tend to transform this one into an I, a Portuguese I, which is like the equivalent to E. So we say, que olhos, que olhos tão bonitos. That happens when we have an E and an O or an A also, okay? And finally, I want to tell you about the friends compliment. That's, that's compliments that you can give to friends. Um, you know that friendships need some uh, waterings or so the plants of friendship can grow. I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, but I guess it's right. So um, the first one is, Es un ótimo amigo. You are 
a great friend. Faster, és um ótimo amigo. És um ótimo amigo. Ok? Again, you are a great friend. Here, actually, we're following the English, uh, the English structure. First, the adjective, then the friend, the, then the friend, then the noun. That's because we want really to put a lot of emphasis in the adjective. And when we want to do this, we kind of, uh, we can, with certain adjectives, uh, turn it around. I will probably make a video about that later or we'll write a blog post. So don't worry too much. Or you can also say, es o meu melhor amigo. Or faster, es o meu melhor amigo. Again, we have an S and a vowel, so we kind of do this. As, well, in this case, it's more U. Es o. Es o meu melhor amigo. Es o meu melhor amigo. That's if you're speaking to a guy friend. If it's a girl, then you say, Es a minha melhor amiga. Again, we have this. I put everything so cramped. I could have spread it in more, but anyways, as a minha melhor amiga, as a minha melhor amiga. So this means you are my best friend for guys, this one here, you're my best friend for girls, that one there. So as a minha melhor amiga. And finally, we can also just say you are a good friend for a guy or for a girl, So, és um bom amigo, or és uma boa amiga, okay? But of course, no one speaks so slowly, so faster would be és um bom amigo, again, the S with a vowel, és um, és um, or és uma boa amiga, again, the S with a vowel, this is és uma. And boa amiga is like good friend. Again, we here we also inverted it to give more emphasis. Actually, the, the adjective bom, it's one that can really have, like can be said the same, uh, sorry, can, can be said in both ways. So you can say amigo bom ou bom amigo. And normally we tend to use this one because it just ends gives more emphasis to what we are saying. So, I hope that you enjoyed. This is a lot of things. Um, and please check, for, check my channel for more because I, I will be uploading more things soon. And also check my website, www.learn-portuguese.org. Check it below the video. And yeah, just keep, keep watching my stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying, so just, just be there and watch more, and I hope you enjoy everything that I post, and please leave me your comments. Okay, bye-bye!